Hello and welcome to Marvellous Maths 2, Misconceptions, Methods and Mastery. I'm Craig Barton. And I'm Joe Morgan. Now, Joe, give us a bit of background here. What are we doing on this course? Right, so um, last year we ran a course, Marvellous Maths 1, for maths teachers, and we had lots of fun running that in schools, in person, and it was, it was absolutely brilliant. And um, it went so well, and teachers got so much out of it that we wanted to do it again this year, but global pandemic means we can't go into schools and deliver this course, but luckily we found a fantastic way to deliver it online. Superb, and it is coming back bigger and better than ever. So this year we have taken three big maths topics. We've gone for decimals, coordinates, and Pythagoras. And what we do for each is first we break them down. It's not just we cover decimals all in one go. We break it down into the little sub skills of decimals. And then my role is I identify the problems. So I go through the hundred plus million answers to diagnostic questions on my diagnostic questions website and the student explanations that accompany those. And I try and find the interesting, surprising, most pertinent misconceptions that students have. Then I have a relax and hand over to you, Joe, because you then try and solve the problems, right? Yeah, I do the difficult bit. So you, you, you bring me problems and I try and solve them with um, suggestions on what teachers can do in the classroom. So it's to do with pedagogy, it's to do with representations um, and a lot on tasks and the, and the tasks we can use to help tackle the misconceptions or to, well, to preempt those misconceptions. Um, so yeah, my, my part of it is all about um, what teachers can be doing in the classroom and, and, the, and I get to show so many wonderful resources. I just can't wait for people to see them. You love a resource. You I love think. a resource. So who's, the, who's this course aimed at, Joe? Um, well, the topics we've chosen, uh, decimals, coordinates and Pythagoras, um, are mainly um, aimed at secondary teachers. I mean, I'm a secondary teacher. You're a secondary teacher. So, you know, when we're when we're talking about the um, when we're talking about these topics, we're really picturing those secondary math teachers. However, we did specifically choose topics and particularly coordinates and decimals where we think that primary teachers will get a lot out of this as well. So there is this, um, there's this kind of cross um, key stage uh, focus here because these are topics that um, really sort of, you know, the fundamental topics that go throughout mathematics education. Um, but it's not just about those topics. And this is a really important point, isn't it? Where ev whenever uh, you and I discuss how to teach certain things, um, we think it's helpful to talk about individual topics, but we need teachers to know that these ideas apply to anything. You know, these are general ideas on how to plan lessons, how to sequence curriculums, how to um, find good resources. So really, whether you're teaching decimals, coordinates and Pythagoras or anything else, then there are loads of good ideas here. Fantastic. Now, as Joe mentioned, last year we did this in person. Now, I love doing courses in person because one, we get to meet teachers and interact, but two, we get lovely food as well. Now, neither of those is happening this year, but having an online course has loads of benefits. So firstly, we've got a course platform that is just absolutely fantastic. Um, you can just dip in and dip out, go straight to the section that you find most relevant, revisit it as many times as you want. We're also covering far more stuff than we could ever do in one day. We've got over 100 videos and over 100 links to resources. So there's, you're getting so much more for your money uh, with this one. And of course, you can re-watch things. And I think this is really interesting. If you try out one of Joe's resources or you want to see if your kids have got the same misconceptions that the data suggests that they might have you can re-watch it and then evaluate how things went based on what me and joe were chatting about so there's loads of benefits but the big one joe for you is the actual resources right you can link to them yeah i mean it's, it's funny when i present um in person and you put a great resource on the powerpoint everyone gets their phones out and takes a photo of it and then everyone wants to know where can they get that resource and that's really hard to do in person because it's not easy to provide these sort of long urls for people to write down and and so actually this this works brilliantly and every time i show a resource um teachers can then straight away click on the link to that resource and have a go at it themselves or prepare it for their lesson and um, so actually the, the platform makes sharing resources much easier than doing it in person Superb. Now, Joe, how are you picturing teachers use the materials that we cover in Marvellous Maths 2? Um, I think there's going to be a lot of teachers who who get this course for themselves. So they're going to they're going to buy this course themselves. They're going to sit at home and work through the material and then go back into school. Say, for example, they watch it over half term. They might go back to school feeling just absolutely raring to go. We all know that when you when you go on good CPD, it's just you come back to school with so many good ideas. So I think some people will do this individually. But I think some schools um, are going to get this for everyone in their departments. So they're going to buy a pass for all the teachers in the department. And then you've got a few options there. You can either say to the teachers that we've, we've 
we've, we've got you this course, go off and watch it in your own time and then perhaps come back and discuss it in a department meeting. What did we learn from it? Um, or perhaps get a pass for every teacher and then show bits of it in department meetings. And that there's all sorts of different ways that heads of maths can organize this learning. Um, a really good idea, for example, would be when you're teaching, say, Pythagoras for the first time, that's when you say, right, everyone before next department meeting, let's all go and watch the Pythagoras section, come back and then we'll have a really good chat about it in our department meeting and what we learn. So there's all sorts of ways, but I think the the, the beauty of it being online is being able to revisit the course like you mentioned so you know un unlike a, a one day course where you get all those ideas and you have to kind of remember them and then it's really hard to put them all into practice straight away with this it's that opportunity to keep coming back because once you've got that course pass you can you can come back and, and revisit the sections whenever you like fantastic now this is where i play bad cop just a reminder here that the cost of this course is per person we've got i think the cost is about a quarter of what we charged last year for the in-person cpd but we've got at least double the content so hopefully you feel you're getting good value for money and we also have a special offer on if you buy five course passes you get the sixth course pass free so if you've got a particularly large department you can take advantage of that and if you've got a huge order coming in perhaps you're a mat perhaps you're um, a pgce tutor then just get in contact you can also pay online just direct through paypal or using a card or you can send me an invoice um, and i can just invoice you as you normally would details of that are all in the frequently asked questions at the bottom of the course page so if you want any info about all that kind of stuff just uh, look there and the other thing i wanted to say joe now this is hot off the press isn't it i only broke the news to you about this uh, this morning is there's a comments feature as well so under each of the wonderful resources that joe shares you can leave a comment to say how you you use the resource how you found it uh, if you've got any other interesting resources that you think would fit well into this section so the more people do that the more we're even getting out of this course it becomes a, a growing community so i'd really uh, recommend you take advantage of that so joe fingers crossed people are excited now they want to sign up to marvelous maths too and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and if you sign up to the course we'll be speaking to you soon it's bye bye from me and bye from me